There it is. We're getting insider information at the same time. It is a very special anniversary for Coronation Street and uh, some fans here in Vancouver. And I use that term very seriously because if you love Coronation Street, you love it, are having a ping in Vancouver. That's right. And Robert Lawrence is joining us now to tell us all about it and how you can get some great grub. How are you? I'm very well, well thank you. Nice so to that's you. the new opening credits there. And you yeah, were saying that the tram isn't, doesn't exist. You I'm just like, what? Very nice. All smoke and mirrors, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like TV's not real anymore. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it, eh? You know? The tram kind of does go past, but it's, it's not on that. But they've they've but done some clever the thing with Coronation Street, I mean, it's been around for long enough now that people really, it's its like life now for a lot of people, for a Absolutely. lot of fans. Absolutely, and then it seems more so here in Canada than in England. I mean, it's, uh, hence the, these sort of gatherings, these pings that we were... Uh, we should probably explain the ping and what it is yeah, and where yeah. people can go. What is it? Well, um, it's called a ping, bizarrely enough, because uh, somebody invited someone else out for a pint. Um, to, uh, to chat about Coronation Street and just did a typo. So. <laughs> they drop the T out in a G yeah. and all of a sudden yeah. so, the fans uh, have a ping. So Absolutely. now this is the fan convention. So, so yeah. <laughs> um, And uh, there's a ping. Joe Leary um, from TV Week Online, I did an interview with him a few weeks ago. and uh, he's, He loves he, Corey. He does, he does. He's I mad know. for it. And he's <laughs> set up this, this ping in Vancouver at the King's Head Pub on uh, Saturday the 5th. One o'clock till three o'clock. So I see that you can get some of the food that you're familiar with. No yeah, vegetables. Man. Straight from home. There's beans, though. What are you talking about? <laughs> vegetables. What do you mean no vegetables? Look at the beans. And that. we've got coleslaw. Come on, this you're being This is the hard. salad, people. This is the salad. Okay, tell us what on earth is this? It looks this really is bangers, bangers and mash. And mash. Bangers yeah. and mash. Yeah, the real that. deal, too. That right there is part of my childhood. That's Absolutely. what that is. Absolutely. Does it taste like home to you when you get to go somewhere like I, the King's will, Head? I, I, I am very much looking. They're, they're going to do Betty's Hot Pot on Saturday, I believe. Which is kind Betty's of the, hot well, Betty, Betty, who works in the uh, Rover's Return, her speciality dish is the hot pot. You're laughing at me. No, I'm not Come laughing on. at you. I just love it. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a lovely beef and it's got vegetables in. It's got okay. carrots and peas, just a few, one or two, you know. Uh, and gravy covered in pastry. And more gravy on top. So it's a healthy the, dish. You absolutely. Need, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You, when you're having vegetables, you need gravy and beans. Yeah, you know, it's got, you've got to mask it, haven't so, you? you know? <laughs> What is it like palatable. for you when you meet uh, the fans of Coronation Street? Do they ask you a ton of questions? Like yeah, I mean, it's, when I worked on the show, that it's it's one of those places that uh, when you go in and work, there's always people stood at the gate waiting and at any yeah. time, morning, noon or night. <laughs> yeah. And when you come out, there's still people waiting. It's, it's massively revered show. Is it everywhere. part of a, you know, almost a rite of passage sure for uh, a young man acting in England to, to do a little <laughs> time on, on Corey? Yeah, yeah, well, there's, there's, you kind of, you find people will do the rounds of the soaps now. as the Emmerdale right. and the Coronation Street. And, uh, Here's some of your fine investigative work uh, while you're Tell us about who you played on Coronation Street. I played PC Glaister, so I, um, I, I, I recurred on the show uh, over about a four no, or five year period, did, yeah. uh, did a bunch of episodes. How many crimes did you solve? Uh, not, not, not a great deal. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, um, you know, I was always there, you know, I was, I was punctual, that's what I was. <laughs> I was a punctual PC, yeah? <laughs> and, uh, you know, maybe I was too busy looking at the, uh, looking at the bangers and mash and, and the pub. And what, so, what are we at so here? Crimes. Just a little... Oh, this, well, yeah. you see, the thing about all the dishes they're serving, which is very traditional British pub fare, very. is everything's laced with beer. We've got beer what? battered fish yeah, and chips, right. we've got beer in the gravy and the Betty's hot pot that's just basically don't put water in put beer in <laughs> so it's kind of you know it's just a vehicle for more beer really. uh, that's, that's the show. do you have to keep up with it I mean when you're going to a ping do you keep up with the show I mean do you, do you sort of watch it all the time or, or do you have to brush up before you go to a ping <laughs> well I am gonna have to brush up. I've been very busy with working on a few other things but I it's the sort of thing that if I see it I won't turn it over I'll sit down and I'll, I'll yeah. catch up on speaking so. of uh, some of your other projects uh, your voice might seem familiar to people who've been watching village on a diet yes ironically we have this food here you don't want to be eating this kind of thing if you are on a diet oh but this is lovely but you know we yeah. when we saw a couple episodes of the show we were your voice just because you have the accent i i it's you've legitimacy. got authority you've got yeah. legitimacy Ju judgmental is what yeah. you're saying yeah. <laughs> i didn't want to say, say. Yeah. no i do so. three tons overweight but do you feel obligated
complicated to eat healthfully when you are you narrating know, a show like that? Well, do you know what? It really has had. A, I mean, it, it's had a, an amazing effect in in Taylor, BC, where the uh, where the, the whole thing was shot. And and I was chatting to uh, Glenn, who's the town taskmaster for people who've seen the show, and he said there really is a tangible change in the town. And yeah. it's been the same in the production company here at Force Four Productions. Everyone on the show, it really has kind of rubbed it makes off you and think. made it clean well, up absolutely, a little bit. Yeah, you know, it must be fascinating. I mean, just to you know, we've seen a couple of episodes and, and seen what's aired, but to know what happens throughout the whole series as well, and and to get some very inspiration positive from and that. inspiring. So yeah. Incredible. Uh, we have to talk about Sanctuary a little bit as well, uh, where uh, you've been recurring for what a couple of years. Now yeah. On, on that. Yeah. Uh, what's going on with Declan? Well, I'm, uh, I'll be back in a couple of the episodes, and we're on hiatus at the moment. I think, I'm not sure of the air date, but I think it's kind of April, May, the series comes mm -hmm. back for the, the second half of season three. Right. Still in London, running the same Absolutely. Well, I'm actually, I'm actually over on hiatus doing, uh, or, or what would you call it? I'm over on holiday, maybe. A sojourn. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Take a little break from, <laughs> from <laughs> sanctuarying. Busman's holiday, we would say. And you also just worked on, a lot of people have spotted Jorge Garcia from Lost around Vancouver. Yeah. They're shooting a pilot called Alcatraz. And yeah, this is the J.J. Abrams. Um, tell us everything about it. I know J.J. Well, Abrams yeah. loves that. I won't tell you everything about it because <laughs> everything I've read has got confidential stamped all over it sort of thing. But it's, uh, yeah, I, I had a, a small role. I was shooting with Sam Neill the other day. It's, uh, it's a, I, I picked up the script and I couldn't put it down. It's, oh, great. It looks really? like it's going to be a great show. Good um, stuff. Yeah. And there's, it, it's playing about with timelines, similar in, in a similar way to Lost. You know, there's lots of options for backstory for the characters. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Same as Coronation so, Street. Same idea. Just and Coronation very Street exciting, has so. a calendar with a lot, heaps of nudity so, in it. Uh, like it does that. have quite a bit of nudity. Do people come to the ping and, and they can ask questions or they just group together and Yeah, and sure. Gab I mean, they, they, they're throwing on, uh, Granville Island Brewing are putting on the first pint for free. For everyone, so you know, what other and reason you need to serve? And they're putting a lot of beer in the food. And they're also lacing all the food with beer as well. Good stuff. Ah. Um, th they've got a, a special on all the food. There's some great. It's all traditional British pub fare on on the Saturday. Get um, hungry. And uh, yeah, there's, there's going to be prizes and it's a, some trivia games and there's, there's signed beer mats and Beautiful. calendars and all sorts of things. Yeah. Well, thank it's you be so a great much. Day. If you want to check it out, the that preview there is, is hosted lunch. by Joe Leary. It's going to be happening Saturday, Feb 5th from 1 to 3 p.m. Oh, let's, let's That's try. at the King's Head, right in Kitsilano on U Street. If you want to check it out, you can get some great food. We're going to take a quick